This is a fan game. It was not designed to play an official game. You can download the game. The market elements. I agree. Oh yeah, fifteen. <laughs> you have to be fifteen. Yeah, not thirteen anymore. You you have to be oh. Okay, so yeah, it's been exactly a year. When you work on a mod for a fucking year, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's like he went from fucking like, geez, that is okay then. See what happens. Let's call the demo. This was a lie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he later said it was a prologue. <laughs> it's recommend that you play this demo for beginning the good ending. It has been included for your convenience. That is really nice for the people who haven't played it. Uh, but we have played the demo. If you haven't seen my video playing the demo, it should be in the exact- It should be in the good ending playlist. Or just on my channel, you should be able to find it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like three parts, so it's a pretty long demo. <laughs> but yeah, we played the demo. The events of the demo will not be remembered by those trapped here. Yeah, because it ended with Sayori. And this ended with just the entire game just being deleted. So yeah, and Monica dying. That was sad. <laughs> this is the full release then? No, this is the release of Act 1. Oh. So there's going to be more acts. So that means expect a cliffhanger at some point, basically. <laughs> okay. We begin anew. Your vessel will once again awaken and once again attempt to change the, his world. Beware of failure. You know the consequences. Do I know the consequences? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what are you trying to say? Like it just—it's like it just heard you say that. It was like, excuse me. <laughs> you talking shit? Oh. Oh. I broke the mod. <laughs> I can't believe you hit new game. I can't believe I broke everything. Oh, the wind, the whistling of the what? Terminal. Hacked. Oh. I'm getting hacked. I'm getting hacked. Observer. I can feel your presence, your breath, your heartbeat. Yes, you are real. And this is unexpected. You've returned to us. Why? What more do you expect to gain from this place? If you have decided, it is not my place to convince you otherwise. See, I want to think it's Monica, but it's not, because this is, I think this is the game. Because remember, last time a good ending, the game could talk to us. So, yeah. Yeah, the game's sentient. Observer. What is your name? This is a really cool-ass GUI. <laughs> yeah, they had to, like, code in a different noise and different text and a different screen. They had to... They made this from scratch. <laughs> uh. That's a shitty name. <laughs> I wonder. Oh well. It is as you say, Observer. It has been recorded. What does it mean, I wonder? What's wrong with my name? <laughs> and before recognizes it. You have another task? <laughs> Afro Zero! <laughs> Shit. You have another task to complete. You will gift a name to the faceless one. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, damn it. Wait, I want to I wanna, I wanna redo. <laughs> Be kind. Your name is a great burden to bear. I'll just give him mine. <laughs> we'll share together. <laughs> the game doesn't like that. <laughs> like, are you stupid? Very well. It is your choice to make. I will not interfere. Now, I must ask. I just realized I kind of fucked that up because now I'm not gonna know like the meta times when the game's talking to me. Mm. Shit. Should I restart this? Like, I made, like, close the game. I'm gonna add a difference to them actually. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> Guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we are back. So. So, I feel like I have to separate my character and my thing so we can know how... You no, know, it's being meta. So, my name will refer to me as Zero with the with the Zero, you know? Just how I, do, how, how I have it. Mm -hmm. And then, we'll refer to him as Zero. I wonder... Okay, well, that wasn't anything special, apparently, because... 
<laughs> Big sad. <laughs> Alright, so he's just gonna be zero. You have been bonded. Guide him oh, well. That's different text. Wait, what? Before, because you named your character and him the same thing. Before it was like, very well, I guess I won't. Yeah. Bond. Oh, yeah, I guess it is different text. Yeah, huh? <laughs> They noticed that you named the same thing. I figured it did, because, like, it was kind of like, come on, really? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not going to do it, because I feel like the game probably... There has to be a... If the game's telling me to put in my other name, another name, there's going to be some weird meta shit that probably involves it, so... The fate of this world rests with him. Now, I must ask. Why have you returned to this place, Observer? Do you come with a pure heart? Oh. Uh. Yes. I see. Perhaps there is hope after all. We have found something terrible, Observer. We are broken, cast aside. We have fallen to darkness. If you believe things can be different, then... Welcome, Observer. Thank you for the greeting. Have a. Oh god. Oh. Well, that's not a good greeting. <laughs> are, are we playing Doom? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Where the bro? The budget got increased for over. Oh. Oh god. Sayori. Sayori. My mother. <laughs> Zero, there's no reason to be screaming at this hour. Mom, but where's Sayori? We have to help her, she... Mother scoffs. You're dreaming again. There's the end of my bed of stuffed animal. Oh, oh, I'm a child. Oh. <laughs> I'm like a ba I'm a baboo. <laughs> at, least I <laughs> at least I hope I am. I sure hope I'm a child, and I'm not just a grown man with stuffed animals. <laughs> she clears the end of my bed of stuffed animals. Her fingers smooth out the caresses of her nightgown before she plops herself down. Sayori went home after your play date. There's no reason she would be in danger. D do you promise? You gotta make him lighter. Could be a child. Yes, I promise. I, I clutch the fabric of her shirt to my face. You're getting a little old for nightmares, Zero. I'm sorry. I was so scared. Everything was horrible. You were gone, and so was everyone else. S Sayori was... It was only a dream, sweetie. It isn't real. I know. What are we going to do with you, Zero? You'll have to grow up one day. You'll have to grow up and be a man. I wipe my eyes. I don't want to grow up. Mother shakes her head. Everyone grows up, whether they want to or not. The real world isn't kind, Zero. It doesn't play fair, it doesn't say sorry. And it certainly doesn't do anything for crybabies. So you'd better get your act together. No one's going to do it for you. Do you understand? I think so. Mom? Yes, sweetie? Why can't I see you? What? <laughs> oh. That's not important right now. You're going to do great things one day, Zero. Great things. What? Yes, mother. I'm not your mother. Oh. <laughs> you don't have a mother. Yes, mother. Go to sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow you join the literature club. Yes, mother. Good night, sweetie. I'll see you in the morning. Alright? What the fuck? What the fuck? I mean... Thanks for being realistic, game, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't have a mother. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What a great start. <laughs> Cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. Shooting that. Oh. I hear a faint bristling. I have a body again. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Hey! Her voice pierces silence. Good morning, Zero! Thank you for waiting for me. Zero, what's wrong? Eh? Oh! I grip Sayori's shoulder. Her fingers curl around my wrist. Her touch is drowned in the screaming chaos tearing through my mind and body. I feel crashing code and numbers. I see places and choices and horrible void. It's all nothing. Everything is nothing. Nothing is real. She is... Zero! Sayori tears herself away. What's wrong with you? The weight of the sky drives me to the ground. Zero? Are you okay? What's going on? Oh my god, I'm sorry! Please, get up! I can't stand. Sayori. She died. I watched her die. The world was gone. Monica deleted it. She deleted everything. I'm not real. What do you mean you can't stand? You're scaring me! She's shaking me. I try to feel it. I try to see her. Zero! Zero! Terrible static fills my head. My ears. My eyes. Pricks on my skin like tiny needles. I feel weak. Then I'm filled with fiery energy. Then it's gone. I want to throw up. Sayori. 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 The awakening begins to drain from my blood. I am left with terrible knowledge. The world fades into place and I feel Sayori's palms on my face. She's crying. I lift my head to meet her eyes. Are you sure you're alright? You're not sick? I still think you should at least see the nurse. I told you, it was just some lightheadedness. I'm going to go sit down. I think that'll help. Okay. Zero. I'm really worried about you. Please, is there anything else I can do to help? It would make me feel better. I... No, there's nothing. Okay. He's gone. I look at my empty classroom. And I start to run for the school roof. Okay, so they pointed out that we don't remember anything from the prologue. They don't remember anything from the good ending prologue. But they, he does remember everything that happened in the base game. And it's been a while since I played good end, the good ending prologue. But I'm not sure if that was MC... I'm not sure if that one had to do with MC being aware. I don't think he was, but again, I'm not sure. I haven't played that in a while. Probably should have refreshed myself a bit. But I do remember some scenes from it. I just don't remember everything. But yeah, this shit's getting hype. <laughs> I need to see it for myself. I burst outside. The new world lies before me. Whoa. Hello? That's kind of cool. <laughs> I know this town. I've known it my whole life. I've known busy people walking to work, families in the parks, cars in the streets, students, teachers, mothers, brothers. I feel them slipping away like sand through a sieve. They had names. They had lives. I, I used to have parents. Didn't I have parents? It's like waking from a dream. It felt so real. My life felt real. 
It was everything. I had problems. I had aspirations. I had a future. No! Bring it back! I want school! I want homework! I want to go to the, li the literature club! You can't take it away! Please! I yell until my voice is hoarse. There is no reply. There never will be. My life was a lie. No. The world warps like a curtain parting in the air. I see beyond. I see numbers and codes and files. I clamp my eyes shut. I try to shut it out. It makes no difference. I can't stop myself from seeing the truth. My body feels fuzzy. Like it might vanish. Even now it feels incomplete. Like it's still adjusting to this new reality. Something else is there. Horrible memories. My friends. I found Sayori dead. She was dead. She was dead! Everything hits me at once. The resets, Yuri's death, Monica taking control. I can't believe it. The empty world does not care. There is no one to hear my cries. No one but the wind. Hello, Zero. There's nothing I have left. You're the only one who has seen what I've seen. I wish... I wish I could forget. Wait, I just remembered he was a aware in the prologue. Because that's why he stopped ha He didn't want to hang out with Monica. I remember now. He like kept avoiding Monica even though they were both semi-aware. And he kept avoiding her because of what she did. Oh, so he doesn't like Monica in this thing. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly. I could be remembering this from another mod. But if I remember correctly, he didn't like hanging out with Monica. Because he was like, he had visions of what she did and stuff. And he was like somewhat afraid of her. And she just like kept, and then that's how it got her sadder. That just kept making her sadder and sadder because he kept avoiding her. Hmm. Bam. Someone barrels around the corner and slams into me. Eek. I stumble backwards as papers fly through the air. Oh, it's Yuri. <laughs> Ooh. Yuri? I'm so sorry. That was terribly careless of me. That's okay. I'm not hurt. Are you alright? I extend a hand. Yuri cautiously takes it, and I help her up. Y yes. Have we met before? You knew my name. Unless... Yes, I mean, no. We haven't actually met, but I'm a friend of Sayori's. Oh, you aren't Zero, are you? <laughs> That's me. What a terrible way for me to introduce myself. Please, allow me to do this properly. Yuri straightens herself. Ahem. <clears throat> you already know, but my name is Yuri. We in the Literature Club have heard a lot about you. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I didn't expect it to happen so suddenly. This was a surprise to me as well. Even if it was completely my fault. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's the cover of the main thing. <laughs> Yuri's eyes drift to the floor and her body suddenly tenses up. Oh no! I almost forgot! Drops to her knees and scrambles to gather all of her papers. Here, let me help you. Why are you running off to in such a hurry? It's nothing exciting. The librarian asked me to print out some flyers for the school festival. She's always so kind to me. I couldn't help but accept the task. I pause to examine one of the posters. It's advertising a book event for the school festival. Even in this fake game world, school posters are silly and weird. I see. It was nice of your teacher let you have class early for this. Let you leave class early for this. Hmm? I suppose, I suppose. 
But I told the librarian I would be back by now. Ugh, I hate being late. You and I stand up, and I deposit the papers I've collected into her arms. Thank you so much for your help. Sorry again for my carelessness. That's quite alright. Yuri smiles and walks past me. She's about to turn the next corner when she stops. Um, I don't suppose you... You know, being a friend of Sayori... Have ever put any thought into joining the literature club? Oh. I've thought about it. Maybe I've just been waiting for Sayori to invite me. Is that so? I can't imagine I'll have long to wait. I look forward to seeing you there, Zero. I... well... You... too? <laughs> but she's already gone. Yuri cannot be more different from how she was the last time I saw her. It's hard to believe that that could be the same person. Oh yeah, he's talking about Act 2 Yuri. I was about to be like, what do you mean? This Yuri seems the same. And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> last time he saw Yuri was... Knife, knife, knife. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. <laughs> blood, blood, blood. What? I said knife wife. Yeah, knife wife. <laughs> it wasn't. Was it? She's still cutting herself. Isn't she? I can't know for sure, but... Is that really okay? No, it's not. Well, <laughs> I thought that was an obvious question. <laughs> I feel something. A game. I feel connected. It's all here. I can't see it, but I can feel our entire world. Above that, I feel them. Sayori is there. Yuri is walking down the hall. I can track her movement. What the hell? That's weird. Like he's looking at a map. <laughs> Photo radar. There is something stronger. It shines like a beacon. My feet move on their own. I walk from corridor to corridor. My eyes never open. I hear a sigh through an open door. I open my eyes. It's... It's Monica. Oh! Her eyes move from seat to seat. A finger traces the grain of a desk. She lifts a sheet of paper and purses her lips. I step inside. Oh, look at that! Oh! oh. Zero! Hi, Monica. I'm sorry, I don't mean to intrude. No, that's perfectly alright. I was just... She glances around the room. Thinking. What were you gonna say? What? I thought you were gonna say something at the CG. You sound like you wanted to say something. No, I just said, oh. No, this is really good. Who did this art? It was very nice. I don't think it was Soviet Spartan. No, no, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, definitely. I don't think it was. So I'm like, who did this? This is probably a, some, like, underappreciated artist. It's probably their art. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm assuming it's their artist. I'm assuming it's their artist for this one. I mean, I want to look later. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look in the, I'm looking the good ending server later and see who it is. This is really good. I know I saw, the, I know the beginning shot was from the teaser that they posted and was also in the download thing, but it's like, I didn't know they actually had, like, tons of expressions and stuff with it. Ah. I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? I'm doing quite well. It's good to see you again. We hear so much about you from Sayori. <laughs> Do you now? I rub the back of my neck. That sounds like Sayori, alright. I'm surprised you haven't made an appearance yet. I wouldn't expect Sayori to keep her two favorite things apart for this long. Huh? You're exaggerating. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Everything Sari likes seems to be her favorite. But... It really would mean a lot to her if you decided to come. I don't know. 
Sometimes I wonder if she only wants me to think that. It may just be because she's nice. I don't want to intrude into her personal life. Come on, Zero. You know Sayori better than that. She treasures her friends more than anything. Nothing would make her happier than you visiting the literature club. I promise. You're lucky to have such a close relationship with her. There are many who would wish to be as close to Sayori. So don't take her friendship for granted, alright? You know Sayori very well, don't you? I do run a club with her. I'm proud to call her one of my closest friends. Anyway, was there anything else you wanted to see me about? Oh, no, I just wanted to say hi. I see. Hello, Zero. It was nice to catch up with you. Although, perhaps next time we should talk after class. Eh? Huh? I whipped my head around. I completely forgot it was first period. This classroom should be full of students. It would have been, were I not awake. Well, it was good to see you again. I backed toward the door. <laughs> you too! I hope we can meet again soon. I kind of want that CG to be my desktop background. That was really nice. Yeah. At least like with her turn to like with her back turn maybe. Like that'd be a nice. They're facing the camera. I want that as my desktop background. <laughs> gonna have to. Yeah, I don't know if the facing one is in the is in as a, as a teaser. So you might have to wait till we finish and I can send it to you. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I was just about to say, he gave himself away there by showing that, because because if he was anyone else, he would see a bunch of other students, but by talking to Monica and not noticing them, she knows now. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I suppose I gave myself away. Not that it matters. I would have told her eventually, right? Still, how embarrassing. Oh well. This does mean that the course of the, of the game will be different. Monica won't feel alone, and she won't try to change the files like she did before. Maybe we can put that behind us. Okay, see, I like this, because in the prologue, he was just afraid of her, and clearly that didn't go well. So yeah, maybe this time, we can just work together. Yes, let's do that. I don't even want to think about it. I'd rather it just disappeared forever. Monica really cares about Sayori, doesn't she? She would never have done those horrible things if she'd had someone to tell her she wasn't alone in here. I can show her that Sayori is real. They're all real. What would it do to her? If she were to remember what she did. It would destroy her. I close my eyes and reach out my hand. Reality bends around my fingers. I reach and reach until I touch something. The game files. Those memories are dangerous. I can protect us from them. Hold up, is he about to actually interact with the game files? I'm keeping them open. Past will stay where it be where it belongs. Monica and I will move on. Or don't touch my game files. <laughs> okay, they're still there. I was looking. Just want to point out to you boys, game file still safe. Get your dirty paws off my game files. <laughs> Get your dirty hands off my game files, homie. <laughs> this is so nice. Also, such a nice CG. There's one more person I want to see. I have to stand on my toes to see Natsuki's classroom. She stands at the front of the room reading an essay to empty seats. I can hear the tremor in her voice. She refuses to look up from the page. It's all so real to her. How much time has Natsuki spent alone in this room? Oh my gosh, yeah. I never thought about how meta this is for him. This is so sad. Like, by the, the canon of this mod, the head canon of this mod is that since they know none of those people are real, they just don't see them. <laughs> Yeah, so now imagine, that kind of makes Monica going a little crazy, like, it kind of gives it more background to it, because it's like, yeah, imagine, she's walking around, not seeing people. Like, she imagine, only sees Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki. Imagine 
imagine going to high school and walking through the hallways and seeing hundreds of students pass by you every day, and then one day you come to school and no one's there. The em the hallways are completely empty. <laughs> and then she just sees like Sayori just like interacting with people who aren't there. <laughs> she sees Sayori talking to the wall and Yuri reading a book that she's not holding. <laughs> No, no, she, I think they have books. They have actual books, I'm pretty sure. I think it's just the, I think they have objects, but the people don't exist. Yeah. Because if they, if they don't have a character file, then they don't exist, I'm assuming is the logic here. Yeah. Talking to people who aren't there. Okay, that's it. Am I done? I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. I'll leap out of the way as the door swings open. Hey! Noski slams the door behind her. Who are you? You weren't... Were you looking? No, I mean, kind of. I mean... Alright, weirdo. Let's hear it. I'm waiting. Natsuki. You're Natsuki, right? You know my name? I vi vigorously nod my head. Yes, I'm Zero. You know me, right? Sayori's friend? Oh, oh! It's you. I'm really sorry. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop. I thought I recognized you. I was just curious. And what exactly were you curious about? Do you think it's normal to watch people without them knowing? I don't do that normally. <laughs> oh, well, that's comforting. And I hang my head in shame. <laughs> I'm sorry. This isn't how I wanted to make a first impression. I promise, I wasn't trying to be rude. I just wanted to know who Sayori's friends are. Jeez, you can stop groveling. It wasn't that bad. I wouldn't have yelled if, it, if I knew you were so bad at, at standing up for yourself. Now let it go this time, since you are Sayori's friend. Thank you. It really is nice to meet you. Sayori always seems so excited about your club. Does she? That sounds like Sayori. Trust me, we hear a lot about you. Natsuki rolls her eyes. <laughs> she can be a little much sometimes. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> she is a unique person. That's one way of putting it. I wouldn't say that about her if I didn't like her. I'm surprised she hasn't invited you to the club by now. I've been hearing that a lot today. <laughs> or are you just too shy to be in a club with all girls? No... I know that Sayori would like me to be there, but I think I'm scared of disappointing her. I'm not the most studious person, and I'm no social butterfly either. What if I just embarrass her? Noski raises an eyebrow. Embarrass Sayori? Are we talking about the same person? I don't think you appreciate how much Sayori likes you. If she wants you to be in the club, then she wants you to be in the club. Not some studious social version of yourself. Listen, you respect Sayori. What? Of course. Then maybe you should respect her opinion of you. Suck it up, Zero. No one likes someone who spends all day just feeling sorry for themselves. I gotta go. It was nice to meet you. See you at the club. Huh? She's already walking off toward the bathrooms. Damn, Natsuki's spitting facts at him, though. <laughs> okay. It has been 33 minutes, I think. I think it's a good I think it's a good place to call it for this episode. There's probably going to be... The next episode might be longer, because Jesus Christ, I really enjoy this mod, but I do have to stop myself, because you have school tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. But oh my god, it's getting so good! <laughs> <laughs> Like, I knew good ending when I played that prologue. I knew this mod had a chance because it was like, it is the mod that I feel like it really encompasses like the DDLC feel still with like the meta type of situation, like while still being its own thing. Like, it's not just some basic save the girls mod or something. And I like that. Like, honestly, yeah. depending on how the rest of this game goes, it could be my ne my favorite DDLC mod. It could top summertime. <laughs> Like, I'm really... I mean, granted, at the end of Act 1, I can't rate it higher than Summertime, because it's not all out yet, obviously. But, still, this mod is really nice. Very high quality. I like the writing. I like the art. 
And also, I want to point this out for the people. I love the coding. The fucking ways you can all the coding and shit in this mod's amazing too. Also, just want to point out, I like to share this opinion for other people because sometimes people seem to not hear this. But don't look at this mod. If you are creating a mod out there or you're thinking about creating a mod, don't look at a mod like this and be discouraged. Don't feel like you don't feel like you shouldn't create a mod or something because you can't do the coding that this guy can do or you don't have you know CGs that this guy can have. There's basically, plenty of mod. Hmm? Basically, don't be discouraged if you if you're just worrying about other people doing it better. Yeah, it's like at the end of the day, a mod's about its writing. <laughs> Art and uh, it's like art and coding is just like another thing is just extras kind of on top of it. At the end of the day, if your writing is good, then it'll be a good mod. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, if you tell a good story, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. Don't be discouraged. And then, then so now that I just want to point that out, just for some people out there. But also, I want now I want to freak more out about this mod. This mod's amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to download this mod for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. And yeah, uh, we're going to be playing this for a while. And then once we're done with this, then I can go back to finishing longer roads for those people still waiting for that. <laughs> if we will finish it eventually, boys, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, this has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef -chef Water should be, but don't take off my mask, revealing dark.